In this video, we're going to discuss about uh, Poxac with the Flipper Zero. Once again, um, I wanted to thank um, Shmuma, that really helped me a lot um, with the Poxac uh, old configuration with the device that we're going to, to discuss in this video and, and configuration. Without him, like I wouldn't be able to um, dig much on uh, Poxag and, and Pager, uh, especially with the um, uh, Flip Zero. So um, that's being said, um, all the implementation uh, at that at that stage it's done by by him, and we're going to see what um, we are able to do at this stage and what are like the, the, the current development. So once again, like here in this kind of video, I'm just like um, doing highlight on what I'm testing and what is kind of hot um, for me in the Flipper Zero uh, community. Especially I wanted to release this video a bit earlier because I see his work already like uh, um, published on uh, Rogue Master uh, firmware. I'm going to show you that. And yeah, so it will keep uh, it will keep us to date. Sorry. And here we go. Let's introduce uh, all the device um, that have like um, taken place on my desk. So here on my basement, what we have today. Um, so hacker ref with the porta pack. So you you most probably already know this, this device. It was present in previous video. Um, what I have new here, it's like the MMDMV um, uh, setup. So here it's a piece of hardware and software component using um, a P star. Um, which interface the radio to computers. So in this situation here, we have like um, a Raspberry Pi uh, wireless um, here. Um, it make it a bit slow uh, if you want to, to have a feedback on this, but only on like kind of the configuration. So what it does here, it's um, give um, ever the possibility for let's say uh, people which are using uh, um, DMR, so digital mobile radio, like uh, amateur uh, radio people, to to have a hotspot to extend the range of the of their um, radio via via internet. So that, that's great, and that's gave me like a goal for next year to to pass um, ham radio license and stop like uh, just uh, playing around in in the basement so to to this to this stage here like um, the goal will be to to have the, the license to join then the the dapnet in order to um, to, to to add like a, a hotspot on on this map here and have like additional um, a coverage for like the, the pages and not only like uh, the the flipper zero maybe in uh, in in the future if people are still like finding it's it's cool to have like uh, this kind of update so yeah. Here we go. So um, at presentation being done, here there is also like um, a Raspberry Pi uh, 4 with like um, a wire uh, loose here as an antenna. So um, I have uh, installed here like, um, what is name again? Um, uh, rasp uh, Raspberry um, TX. So that's a bunch of tool like uh, um, installed uh, that allow you to to play with like um, t this antenna to to, to send um, uh, I would say a d different type of um, of um, of of kind of message uh, over over the wave, yeah. Here, like I, I'm I'm only going to to, to use like the the Poxac, so I didn't play with um, 
with others but uh, yeah you could you could like uh, transmit in in your own like uh, FM radio uh, etc so here let, let's go back to, to the Raspberry Pi which is like uh, the, the main uh, the main the main um, character here in, in our video so um, the POXAC protocol here uh, deco decoder it's um, developed by uh, Shmuma and it's uh, included now in um, the ROG master and we have the ability indeed to um, to capture and decode like um, the, the message so here um, in in this at this stage it's just a prototype prototype for Shmuma to understand the, the POXAG and to the POXAG protocol and, and to understand like um, how to make a proper reception and here like the reception should not be only on uh, decoding on a protocol level but using like the, um, the CC1101 uh, from the um, flipper zero to decode with automatic uh, preamble checking so that's a, that's a goal in in, uh, in in the end because like um, here we, we are only um, uh, de decoding uh, at that at that stage receiving a message so in the future what you really uh, uh, look for is like to to have like a chat um, application on um, the, the, the flipper zero and also like you know um, there, there are some type of like uh, LoRa one uh, chat I didn't know if you if you already noticed I will add this in in the description and and I think it's it's really cool you know to to use this kind of protocol so um, let's check out all so it, it's pretty working everywhere here um, in my in my test so change modulation because it's it's a custom here uh, to, to 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 gather yes yeah, the, the signal for um, the POXAC so here I'm going to send like um, so the default message from uh, the ACRF and we'll see okay so we could see here like uh, we have received like a, a porta pack so sorry it's uh, it's here porta pack okay so now I'm going to use like um, so Raspberry Pi um, and send also message here so we could check Of course, it's demo. It's not working. Don't know. Sometimes uh, it's like that. Okay, so we could see test message as I did, and last but not least, on the P star. So here we go. Yeah, I have prepared the message. We'll see all as well here. And it's ready to send. Here we go. So what we have to to conclude here, um, if you're look, going to look to to test um, Poxag. Um, sending from your device so um, flipper zero could like indeed receive them if you're also in the area where um, the DAPnet uh, network is like uh, working you could also intercept I mean decode like uh, so the message so that will be working as well so that could be could be interesting to to monitor what's going on in in your area and 
yeah if you are if you're able to to help somehow um and willing to build like the the poxac application i could not um tell you but uh yeah go ahead and um uh, do stuff on the, on the GitHub. Eh? It's available uh, for for everyone. Thank you for watching, and I'm excited to to see uh, what's next. See you. Bye bye.